Hi everyone, it's Savannah with China Admissions, and let's talk about the acceptance rates for international students at Chinese universities. Which programs are the easiest to get into, and how can you increase your chances of getting into your dream university? Some of the easiest programs to get into at Chinese universities are Chinese language programs. The students who apply to Chinese language programs through China Admissions have a 98% acceptance rate. Almost every university in China will offer these programs, usually of a semester or a year length, and some of them are even online. So you have plenty of options to study Chinese online or in person uh, if you are able to get a visa. And it actually takes less than 12 minutes to complete the application for a Chinese language program on the China admissions platform. They're the easiest programs to apply to. The most common reason that students don't get accepted to the Chinese language program they want is because they are too young, under 18. You have to be 18 years old or older to enroll in a Chinese university language program. And the second reason is they simply don't prepare the application documents correctly. Either they don't submit the proper forms, their forms have mistakes, or they just don't read thoroughly and miss the deadline. So if you want to study a Chinese language at a Chinese university, log on to China Admissions at china-admissions.com and you'll be able to complete an application to the program of your choice in a very short amount of time. MBBS is another extremely popular program in China and around the world, standing for Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. This is a six-year program in China that is incredibly popular for international students. However, this program is also extremely competitive. The acceptance rate for MBBS students at Chinese universities is only around 58%, so it's quite low. Many of the programs only have a few spots, maybe 20 to 100 spots per year, so it's quite competitive to get into these good programs. The most common reason that students are rejected from MBBS programs is simply that the student might have been a good candidate, but there were just other better candidates with stronger grades. So if you want to study MBBS in China, make sure that you do really, really well in your science and mathematics courses, especially biology, physics, chemistry, and of course the math course. Medical universities in China will look at these grades to determine your eligibility to study an MBBS. And if you have other excellent scores as well and a high score on the TOEFL or IELTS, this can also increase your chances. MBA acceptance rates also vary strongly based on students and depending on which MBA you're applying for. Some of the top MBAs at schools like Peking University, Tsinghua University, and Fudan have lower acceptance rates just because so many students apply for them because they're top schools. Other MBAs at smaller universities in China may have higher acceptance rates. The important thing is that you very carefully look at the qualifications of the MBA. Most MBA programs have very specific GMAT scores or GRE scores that they want you to meet. They want you to meet a certain level of English proficiency, and they want you to have a certain amount of work experience or study experience under your belt. So you need at least a bachelor's degree to apply for an MBA in China. You don't necessarily have to have studied a bachelor's in business or marketing or a subject like that, but you will definitely need a strong application and you will need to perform very well in the interview. MBA programs do have an interview that students will have to go through in order to get accepted. If you're interested in applying to an MBA, especially a top MBA at a Chinese university, we recommend checking out our advanced services at China Admissions that are specifically for students who want to do a competitive program like an MBA at a Chinese university. We have a lot of experience helping students get into their MBA programs of their choice, so make sure to click the link in the description box below to check out those services and see if they would be right for you. For other programs such as uh, bachelor's, master's, or a PhD, and maybe a humanities subject, uh, the acceptance rates do vary depending on which university you're applying to, but luckily there are some really easy ways that you can increase your chances of getting accepted into a Chinese university. The first and most important thing you can do to increase your chances of getting accepted is apply early. Students will often apply within the last two weeks of the application window and they will miss the deadline because they did not prepare all the documents ahead of time and then they didn't have time to, they just ran out. And universities will also fill up their spots early. So the first students who apply have a much higher chance of getting a seat in their program than students who apply later when there might be only five or 10 seats left in the program. So if you want to get accepted into a Chinese program at a Chinese university, 
we recommend that you actually apply maybe three to five months before the final application deadline. Depending on when the university opens their application portal, usually they'll do at least three months beforehand. So if you apply quite early, you will have a much better chance of getting in. A second important thing that you need to look out for is check that your documents are completed exactly according to the specifications. And if you apply on China Admissions, our application portal has all the details. We have very specifically lined out everything that you need to have with your documents, every form you need, and exactly how to complete it. So if you don't know how to do the documents, just apply through China Admissions, we'll help you take care of it. The second most common reason that students get rejected after missing the deadline is that their documents are just incorrect or they don't have all the correct documents. It's important to remember that when you're applying to Chinese universities, Chinese universities might require more or different documents than you're used to. For example, they may require a health check or a non-criminal record form, which are two documents that you might not need if you're applying to study in the US or the UK or another country. So you definitely need time to prepare these documents correctly to make sure you're able to get accepted. Third reason that students do not get accepted is unfortunately out of our control and it relates to matters of nationality. Because the Chinese universities have very strict standards for the types of documents they need, especially relating to high school or secondary school transcripts, the way that some countries such as Nigeria and Iran handle their transcripts and forms makes it very difficult for the Chinese side to process them. So if you are from Nigeria or Iran, these countries might have some difficulty applying, but at China Admissions, we can help guide you to the universities that are able to process students from your country. So if you've applied on your own and you feel like you're a strong student, you have good grades, but you keep getting rejected, it might be a matter of nationality and just your forms are not matching what the Chinese university needs. So definitely visit us on China Admissions and begin an application with us because we have plenty of experience in this arena and we'll be able to tell you what the problem is and help you create a strong application to fix it. The fourth and final reason why students do not get accepted into the Chinese university of their choice is they just have a weak application. Maybe you don't see yourself in a very professional way, so you don't have a very strong personal statement, or maybe your grades are not quite what the university is looking for. We do recommend using China Admissions Services to help you get over these hurdles, write a stronger personal statement, be more confident about yourself, and perform well in an interview. However, if you feel that your grades are just not high enough, maybe all your grades are below 50% average, we recommend checking out a foundation program. This is a pre-university program that lasts for a semester or a year. Many Chinese universities offer them, and their goal is to help students who might have lower grades to prepare them for studying a bachelor's in a Chinese university. So these programs, you'll take courses like Chinese language, science, math, the arts and humanities, basically just like a regular year of courses that you can use to help get your grades up and create a stronger application for a bachelor's program. So these are very common in China. There's nothing wrong if you need an extra year to keep your grades up, you can check out foundation programs on china-admissions.com and begin an application with us to help strengthen your application. Do you have any more tips about how to increase your chances of acceptance into a Chinese university? Leave a comment below and don't forget to follow us on our channel for more information about studying in China. See you next time.